is Robert Neville. I am a survivor living in New York City. I am broadcasting on all AM frequencies. I will be at the South Street Seaport every day at midday when the sun is highest in the sky. If you are out there, if anyone is out there, I can provide food, I can provide shelter, I can provide security. If there's anybody out there, anybody, please, you are not alone. Welcome to episode 9 of The Mind Reels. This is Tim Ryder. With me as always is my creative partner, Sue Maynard. Hello. And I am right not here. to your left this time. No, you're not to my left. <laughs> I just had to do it in my head. I'm like, wait, uh, wait a second. <laughs> and, <laughs> and tonight we are sitting with Casey Collins from uh, Most Important, well, to us, Most Important, Lost Girl. But, uh, and most recently. And most recently. But he's agreed to uh, meet us for a drink and a quick chat and uh, tell us a little bit about himself. So we'll use the uh, the ice breaking questions first, uh, you know, which is always fun. Kind of lets you let, lets us get to know you. What are your favorite movies? My favorite movies, you know, they seem to change a lot. But I'm a big fan of Beverly Hills Cop. Yes, <laughs> and it has to be nice. number one though. One is the only one. Although number two okay. is Tony Scott, so, so Tony, it's okay. Absolutely, but one is my favorite. Yes. Um, I'm a huge fan of. Because I just it, I okay. showed Will Smith in a different light. For me. See, yeah, that, it really did actually. And the only thing that ruined that one for me though was uh, when it came out. When it, I only finally got to see it when it was on DVD. Yeah. And they had the DVD rated version and the unrated version. And the unrated <laughs> version had a picture of not only Will Smith but Charlize Theron behind him in costume. You're like, oh, oh, so she's a superhero. Thank you for ruining the movie. <laughs> ah, didn't even oh, know that. That's not fair. <laughs> But yeah, no, I like okay. Yeah, I like Will Smith though. He's uh, he's awesome. He is, he's awesome. and he's done. I mean, he started out as a rapper. Right? Yeah, I, he's we, a versatile I've actually got his guy. greatest hits on my iPod because oh, nice. it's just oh. it's come a long way. He really has. Yeah. Yeah. And um, Charlie Wilson's War. Oh, nice. <laughs> a great yeah. one. So you know, those are a few. Um, you know, I love British television. Oh, I'm a big fan of British, British television. Nice. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Now, when you say British television, we're talking like comedies, dramas? Yes. A lot of comedies. Um, I grew up on, I mean, I'm talking Doctor Who. Yeah, there you are. <laughs> Thank you. You know, the original Doctor <laughs> of Who. Of course. Where, well, who's you know, your first doctor? made out of uh, foil paper. Yes. <laughs> you know, and, and whatnot, so. On PBS or, or the public broadcasting yeah, channel. Yeah, I remember that. Something like that. Yeah. Um, you know, I, and if, we, if we fast forward to now, Luther is a great. Mm -hmm. Have you guys seen Luther? Luther yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh. I love British television. I love the BBC. That's where I watch all my television. You know, James Nesbitt's awesome. So. Yeah. yeah. Did you see Jekyll? Yes, I did. Oh, yeah. my God. Brilliant. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> so good. I will have to bring that in for and you. And anything Judy Dench does, Dang, pretty much. Especially comedy-wise. She's funny. Because she does it straight-faced and <laughs> pulls yeah. it off every time. The comedy is so hard. <laughs> so hard. I, was, uh, I was watching uh, Jane Fonda yesterday, and she was... I can't remember the actress she was working with, but it ended up being the actress's breakthrough role. Okay. And she's a comedian. And right. she was just discussing how... I that right there. Oh, yeah. And she was, <laughs> just, she was just discussing how... Um, Comedians always want to do it over and over and over again because they're just so self-conscious. Mm -hmm. You know, they don't think that they're actually doing it correctly. Yeah. And so, you know, 20 takes later, they still want one more. Because it's such a hard thing, you know. Oh, yeah, because comedy's all about the timing. Yeah. 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 And especially if you don't have, like, instant feedback of a live audience, yeah. then you really have no idea how that's going to play. Yeah, and if right. you've done it 20 times already, yeah. what's one more take? Because yeah. awesome. oh. right. the crew can't laugh out loud, huh? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Cut! I mean, I mean they, they can, but they'll just be out of a job. Yeah. You know? So... Not even a slap on the wrist. Yeah. No, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. That's now. You've talked about British television and some of your favorite movies, but who are your influences when it comes to acting, or do you have any? Yeah, absolutely. Um, once again, Will Smith, because I feel that Will Smith comes from kind of the same place I, I'm coming from. Mm -hmm. 
and uh, I love Philip Seymour Hoffman. Oh my god! Oh my and you got to work yeah, with him. And I got to work with yeah. him when I had no idea what I was doing. I mean, I still don't really know what I'm doing, and that's what I love about acting. You never really know what you're doing mm -hmm. because it changes so often, and you know, it's you can you can go to a you know a desk job and, and it's the same thing over and over. Yeah. We go in every day on Lost Girl, and things are gonna change. People's yeah. moods are gonna change. Which means that we're gonna have to either, you know, work this way or that way to get what we want out of that person, and vice versa. Right. And um, there's just so many elements that change, right? It's, it's kind of like it reminds me of when people say golf is not a sport. <laughs> <laughs> and I used to think the same way. Okay. Until you tried it. Until I tried it. <laughs> and I'm coming from a background of two scholarship sports. Uh, yeah, baseball and basketball. So playing golf. And realizing that, you know what? Nothing is fixed in this game. They change. You can play the same course twice in a row. Mm -hmm. You know, today, tomorrow. Yeah. The hole will change. Yeah. No. Right? They yeah. change the actual hole position. Um, obviously, the weather. Oh, yeah. Right? So, the elements are all, they're always changing. Um, and, you know, that's what acting is. And that's why I love, you know, I love Philip Seymour Hoffman. I, I mean... Working with him just made me um, want to be a better actor. Cool. That's the thing, you yeah. know, because you, you tend to get. I mean, this is, you know, this job, you know, we see the 3% of the glitz and the glamour of the world. Yeah. I mean, this could be a depression job. <laughs> so I will give it to you, honestly. You know, because you're always being judged. Yeah, there is that. Yeah. And it's, you know, I feel sorry for women. Yeah. Like, you know, you're just always being judged. Yeah. Well, especially on North American television. Yeah. Which, because, you know, going back to the BBC, I found every time I watch something on the BBC, they look they look like real women. They're actual, you know, they're not yeah, afraid to have right. somebody who's a little dumpier that's or right. a little yeah. full figured, which I'm like, They have pores right. in their skin? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. They're, they're not afraid to show the blemishes, whereas, Absolutely. yeah, North American television, it's, it's all about the glitz and glamour, like you said. Yeah. It's, you know, it's, to me, a lot of the times about the wrong thing. And, um... Yeah, and it's, it's recorded fun. forever yeah. <laughs> for people to play back and judge. That's it. And, for generations. You know, um, and I, I, you know, I like, I'm sure a lot of other actors have done a ton of bad movies and stuff. <laughs> and you're like, wow, that was bad. <laughs> but you know what? You really learn from it. And you need those. Yeah. You need those bad roles, bad movies. Bad projects. Yeah. Lance Henriksen calls those alimony movies. <laughs> <laughs> nice. That's brilliant. So, yeah, so, you know, Will Smith, Philip Seymour Hoffman. You know, I'm a big fan of, of course, the, you know, the, the, the Robert De Niro. Yeah. I mean, I had this discussion with my, my uh, agent sometimes. And, because uh, when I first started out, he was like, okay, well, we're gonna, I'm going to have to get you out of this niche. And I'm like, well, well, not necessarily. <laughs> I said, Robert De Niro pretty yeah. much does the same damn thing every time. Every time. And when I said, he's the best at it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right? Yeah. And if you're going to be the bad guy, be the best the bad guy. best bad guy. Yeah. Right? And, um, you know, and he laughed. He said, I, <laughs> you know, who would have thought you would have proved me wrong? But, <laughs> you're right. You got a point. You know, so, and, you know, I love what I do and I love to explore. And, but everything is in due time. Uh, see, that's a good, I, good way to have it. And I've been blessed to do extremely, and I, I don't want to jump ahead because you might do have it. this question, but I've, you know, I've done some really good characters, really good roles that mm -hmm. I feel, I'm happy that I've actually got there. Yeah. You know, yeah. Some, some people don't get to do it. No, that's true. At all. Yeah, because, you know, now, after, what, even just 10 years, you've now got locked into a series, which yeah. is the dream for some people. Yeah. And you know, yeah. and something I never wanted. Really, <laughs> never wanted to be a part of this. Really, series. I looked at it as Death Valley. Wow. I just felt it would be so. I, I thought it would be the epitome of redundancy. Yeah, it just. I just said, you know what? It's this is something that. You're gonna be there. You're gonna go on set with the same people, and yeah. <laughs> every day. 
And it doesn't really leave a ton of time to do anything. No, because they're not short days. They're like 12 to 14 hour days. <laughs> right. And you're talking about some things that are rushed a lot of times. Because when you're shooting a series, you know, you got to knock out an episode six, seven days. Yeah. Um, and then, you know, you have, and then you're right on to the next episode. Yeah. So where's the preparation time? That's true. Which leaves for a lot of bad stuff. Yeah. You know, so. So it's a, like, well, like a double-edged sword where, you know, steady paycheck, you know what you're doing for the next eight months, but then, yeah. yeah. I can see you getting up at 5 a.m. or whatever it is, kind of. I do not want to be hailed today. No. <laughs> I want to be back in bed. But yeah, you talked about uh, about sports, and you did have a scholarship for, at Rochester, I think, yep. for uh, for baseball and basketball. Yep. But you also played a hell of a lot of hockey. I did. So, <laughs> do you still have time for this? And, and this popped into my brain today, is that because I know sometimes, uh, because of legal ramifications, they won't let actors do excessive stuff like that anymore. Now, do you still get to do sports? Yeah. Good man. <laughs> <laughs> if I want to do it, I'm going to do it. Nice. You know, I mean, at the end of the day, <laughs> the same thing can happen to me walking down the street. And I kid you not, I kid you not, I've actually twisted my ankle going down steps. And I had to limp on the show. And right. um, so... Limp my knee going down steps. <laughs> right, you know. It's true. So I'm just like, hey, you know, I'm, I just got to be somewhat careful. Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah, so, be a responsible adult. No big deal. <laughs> no big deal. Yeah. Most of the time. Yeah. I don't get to play a ton of sports, you know, just because it's a time thing. Mm -hmm. But, um, you know, I still have my hockey equipment. Nice. <laughs> so, you know, a lot of the times when it's a lot easier for me, believe it or not, to play when I'm in L.A., they seem to have a lot more rinks around. I really? Know. Yeah. Really? <laughs> I, I would not. not. That will do um, just kind of like stick time. Right out here, I find that you know I find that you have to play shinny in order to get on the ice, mm -hmm. or yeah. just skate around with no equipment. Yeah, you know there I can just shoot around in my full equipment, feel good. Wow. Yeah, yeah. The shinny's a little extreme at times. One more reason for us to go to LA. We're right yeah. there. <laughs> Although I can't skate to save my life. No, no me neither. No. But no. there'd be time to learn. Yeah, I, I was one of those kids who you know. I started with like maybe five or six, but it was always my ankles were just kind of yeah. tilt in. And then we moved away. We moved like, I lived all over the planet, so I spent my really formative years, you know, growing up in Bermuda where I didn't do any oh, sports but wow. for swimming and volleyball. I mean, that's all there is. Yeah. So. As a Canadian, my grandma said, you're playing ice hockey. hockey. Nice. Yeah, which is awesome. She, uh, yeah, because she looked after you since you were six. six yeah, yeah, and there's there's like six of you in the family, and you're the seven. Seven. And you're the second Four. youngest? Yeah. I like, yeah. Three sisters, three brothers, or two brothers. Two brothers, brothers yeah. Wow. Yeah. See, that's a big family. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That would make for some interesting fights for the bathroom. <laughs> yeah. You've been solidly working since 99, basically. Yep. You've had, uh, you know, which is impressive for an actor, especially, well, especially in Canada, because there's just not, there doesn't seem to be a lot of work. Whereas you seem to be, you've been gainfully employed for, you know, a good solid 10 years easily. Yeah, it's, it's when I really look back at it, yeah. I, uh, I had this, I remember having this discussion with my agent when I first got with him. He was like, you know, to be honest, there's not really a lot for African Americans. And I said, I'm black. <laughs> you know, just, just call me black. Just so you know. <laughs> just call me black. Just call me black. And he's like, well, okay, well, whatever. There's still not a lot. And I said, yeah, well, that's great. You know, I'm, I'm a little different. And it's just my, my thinking. Yeah, it's just it's a yeah. little different more than anything. Yeah. I said, uh, let's just get down to business. Let's just make it happen. And um, it's been good. Because mm -hmm. you've done so much. Yeah. You know, I just had this discussion with my insurance broker today. I kid you not. Because um, she's taking over for my old insurance broker. Yeah. So we kind of got to the meeting today and um, we were discussing it that it's, it's in the U.S. I think 90% of the actors are, you know, have to hold a second job. Yeah. Like, yeah. Right? yeah. And I don't know what the stats are here, but it's. Um, and I've been blessed to never have to do that. And don't get me wrong, there were times my grandma was like, go get another job. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, you're kidding yourself. 
you know, because you, you get a you get one project for the year, and that's not gonna yeah. do much. Yeah. You know. Especially that's, if it's a spot on a, that's on a below show. Poverty yeah. Line, yeah. Brother. So you gotta go get another job. You no, know, I need this time to really think about how my career is gonna go. Nice. And um, you just do what you do without some things. Yeah. <laughs> I believe it. Yeah. You know, but been blessed. Yeah. And seriously, just. Just almost felt like, man, I wish I could kind of balance it out a little bit. Because I remember there were times where I had friends that weren't working. And I was doing three movies at once. Wow. <laughs> I'm like, this doesn't feel fair. <laughs> you know, this doesn't feel fair. And I mean, we're, we're in the same category, too. But when it's rolling, huh. it's rolling. That's now, when did you know you wanted to act? When I, when I did my first background job. Really? And what was that for? Woo? Yeah. Have you ever seen Woo? No. Nobody, no. One. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy Davidson. From okay, David yeah. Okay. okay, no, you know what? I can actually Pinky. see the cover in my head now, yeah, yeah. because I haven't worked at a video store. Yeah, I can see the cover. <laughs> yeah. yeah, okay. So, uh, a friend of mine was doing background on that, and he was like, you know, come make some money. So I was like, sure, cool. <laughs> Went, you know, met with the agent, went on set, did it. And while everyone was eating craft, you know, and playing cards and talking, and I was outside in the freezing cold watching what was going on. Nice. And I was just, I was just curious more than anything, and then I just said to myself, I could do that. <laughs> okay. And I went back to the agent and I told her, I, I could do what they're doing. Can you get me an audition? Wow. Everyone thinks they can do. It. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Not really everyone. And I said, just give me a shot. Nice. I just don't like to be, I don't like generalization. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And um, because I, I believe that, you know, we're all here for a reason and our own individual purposes. So how are you going to put me in the same category as everyone else? Yeah. It doesn't really make nice. sense to me. So um, I did maybe one or two more background jobs and she got me an opportunity and the rest is history. Boom. Wow, that's yeah, yeah, that's, well yeah, that's, that's awesome. And that's the difference between just like, I could do that, and then somebody saying, you know, it's a really hard life, uh, you yeah. probably won't, the statistics are against you, and then, uh, and then you're just never trying, right. you know? Sure. There's a big difference, and most people go on the never trying side. Yeah. Except the people who are really meant to yeah. take the next step forward. Yeah. Well, and that's honestly what led us here. Yeah. Because for the longest time, our, you know, we would talk about movies and blah, 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 blah. Mm -hmm. And it took a couple of people to kind of push us to say, you know, you guys know a lot about movie yeah. stuff. So why don't you just do Our something with it. Yeah. Some of that. Yeah. And then, yeah, and then our first interview with Jeremy Lalonde, he's like, you know, it's going to be fairly easy to approach a lot of the Canadian actors because they're Canadian. <laughs> <laughs> True indeed. And they don't mind talking. Yeah, they, they don't mind talking. And it's it's a much more informal environment up here. I, we would never have gotten this far already yeah. if we were stateside. No. You know, whereas everybody we've met so far has been more than willing to sit and talk. And yeah, absolutely. Yeah. We're just so much more like that. Yeah, it's the just fact that we can do that too, that we yeah. can meet Rick Howland in a, a pub <laughs> a restaurant or whatever you know, on the Danforth and then have dinner with his wife after and nobody bugs us, yeah. you know, like yeah. nobody approaches or, or does anything. Yeah. Yeah. So we could just Very kind of hang out. Yeah. yeah. No, it's it's actually, it's pretty funny because at Fan Expo, <laughs> we were going to be there. We were there. <laughs> right, right, yeah, we were right. We were in the front row. <laughs> <laughs> I have yeah. pictures from that I haven't posted yet, actually. Uh, okay. Rick's yeah. like, I remember, and we're like, oh, dear God. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But yeah, yeah, that had to be a hell of a rush. Oh, it was great. It yeah. was great. It was such a rush. Because we were talking with Rick about it, that, uh, that we thought... We weren't sure even then how big Lost Girl was going to be. So they're like, oh, they put us in this room? And we're like, there's no way they're going to fill that. Yeah. Yeah. So we got there. We still got there right and early. It was, it was the Sunday, and we said, today is Lost Girl Saturday. Day. That's Saturday. Yeah. And that's all we're doing is Lost Girl, and then we're going to go get the signing. That's all we're doing. So we got, <laughs> we got there right the door open. Yeah. We went in. <laughs> we sat there, and we just, the place filled. And we're like... I remember looking at Sue and saying, this is going to blow their minds when they come out. Blew my Because, like, <laughs> oh, I told I was, I was standing outside. I was like, it's not going to be full. <laughs> it's not going to be full. 
guys, it's not gonna be. And so, yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you. We, we should probably shouldn't even stay. Yeah. <laughs> so, Five nobody minutes. will have questions. Yeah. Five yeah. minutes, we're in or out, we're done. That's it. And, wow, blew my mind. But yeah, you know, as a Canadian, even though we're so easy to talk to, a lot of people don't talk to. You. Thank you. A lot of people don't talk really? to. Really? Yeah, they, you know, they recognize you. Yeah. But they'll kind of just do the. Hey, you're that guy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah and they'll, they'll keep going, you know. Yeah. Um, and that's why I was kind of shocked when that girl came up to me in, 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 at Wonderland, in Splash Wars. Oh, no way. I, was, I was half naked. <laughs> that's right. I remember this story. Yeah. From, yeah. Right. <laughs> and uh, but in the U.S., nonstop. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't matter where you are. And I kind of enjoy that. I mean, yeah. it's, it's, just them, it's yeah. just them being, I guess, them. Like, yeah. Yeah. You know, there's, as, you know, they're always just bold. And they're bold folks. Yeah. You know, airport, bathrooms, <laughs> <laughs> like stores. It's got to be uncomfortable. You know, everywhere. Everywhere. They're like, you know, it, wow. Every city I've been to. Every state I've been to, and in the strangest places, you know, I had a kid come up to me at the Lincoln Monument <laughs> and say, "That's him, mom." <laughs> and just like I'm thinking, I didn't what, touch what, the kid. No. You know, what, what is he talking about? That's him, mom. She goes, "I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. He thinks you're this actor." <laughs> and I was like, "Oh, okay." Yeah, it's him, it's him. Ask him. So she asks me, and I'm like, well, what show? And she tells me the show, and I'm like, yes, ma'am, it's me. That's so cool. And, uh, you know, so that's just how they are, yeah. It doesn't See, matter okay, what But here, they're just, you know, they're so, they're hesitant, you know. Really? Yeah, I think also because there's no real, like, there's no such thing as a star. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. So. That's true. Yeah. You know, out there, of course, there is, so. You know, everything just gets heightened. Yeah. You know. Okay. Yeah. But I mean, you sound like you handle it really well. Oh. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> you know, because I've, I've met some people who just they're sick of it already. I'm like, really? Wouldn't you like be thankful for that? These people, <laughs> these people are giving you their job, basically, it's, or your you know, job. Yeah. yeah. You know, you just have different personalities, and it's you know. When you're, you know, what happens in this industry is because you get so much attention and your face is always somewhere. Yeah. yeah. You start to think you're like it. Like, you know, yeah. nothing else exists for you. You, know, you start to think. My grandma, you know, used to tell me that, you know, if you, you, are, you are who you are, and this industry is only going to magnify that. Yes. Okay. So if you're an asshole before, <laughs> you're gonna be everyone's just going to see that you're, you're an That's asshole. That's true. You know? So, you know, if you're a nice person, it's just going to be magnified. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. So. If you're a private person, you're going to have some problems. <laughs> yeah. But you know what? Deal with it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, well, I think that's yeah. it. Well, once again, with Canadian actors, though, they there is that line where, even in situations like this, we, we recognize there's a private and a public life, and there's no way, I mean, we haven't spoken about it, but we've never said, okay, now let's ask them about this, and yeah. just dig up, because yeah. Yeah, yeah. it doesn't seem right. We're, we're Canadians, we're nice, and, <laughs> and more importantly, we don't want to burn any bridges before we built them, so, yeah. You know, if, someone yeah. Asks, if someone asks you a question that you don't want to answer, just say you don't want to answer it. Yeah. 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 You know, if... I find it's more, I mean, the way we've been doing it, it's more like we're just chatting with friends anyway, like, and I'm not going to ask my buddy, like, you're just supposed to be having a good time, I'm not going to be like, yeah. so, like, what happened with you and your ex, man? Yeah. <laughs> what happened there? Is she know, a bitch? Yeah, totally, exactly, so, you know, yeah, that's insane. That's it. I don't want to treat anybody differently than I would treat my own yeah. friends anyway. Exactly. Yeah. Now, I did go through your filmography, and I didn't see it, although I could have sworn I saw it mentioned. That you, have you done a Flashpoint episode? I have. Yes. Okay, because it wasn't on there. I'm, like, I'm sure I've seen your name in a Flashpoint episode. Yeah. I have to dig it up again. Yeah. Yeah. Flashpoint I think episode. I'm going to start watching Flashpoint regularly now. Because every time I've watched an episode, like, yeah. I made a point for Mary's, I made a yeah. point for Devin Bostick, so I'm like, this is a good show. It's a fun little show. Why am I not watching yeah. it more? 
But yeah, you have done so much, and then you've done you did Earth Final Conflict. Oh yeah. Sci-fi stuff all over the board there. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> yeah look, I mean, look at this. It's a full page. <laughs> you've gotten to work with uh, with Vin Rings twice. Vin Rings. Yeah. And did you did you did the Kojak? Twice, yes. And uh, uh, there was a movie you did with him. Uh, blah blah blah. Animal I've got two. it right here. Animal Two. Yeah. So, I mean, Vin Rames, you did that, you got to work with Danny Glover twice, come on, Danny Glover, oh. Nice folks, too, you know, Vin Rames uh, is an actual friend, you know, he's, That's he's, awesome. he's become a friend. <laughs> he just looks like the nicest guy, yeah. too, yeah. although he can play badass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So did you see him in Mission Impossible 4 yet, then? Uh, and four, four is, four is just coming out now, right? Yeah. No, yeah. I haven't seen it. Spoiler, no. just so you know, because he's in it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ruined it, ruined it. <laughs> nicest guy, um, Danny Glover, the nicest guy. Real cool. Like, if, if you want to interview someone, you want to interview him. Oh, I would love it. The reason I say that is because all those questions, you would never get them out. Really? Because he just... He'd tell you stories. Oh, he would change awesome. your whole format. Oh. See, I would love to hear awesome his stories. thoughts about the color purple. He's got, oh my god. He's got yeah. great stories. Yeah. You know? So it, to me it would be... In the U.S., because the U.S. tends to be this way when your grandfather just tells you stories. And you always want to go to his house just so you can hear a story. There you go. And that's the kind of guy he is. Oh, man. He is, I just want to tell him up. <laughs> he is so warm and cuddly. Nice guy. That's awesome. Uh, so, yeah, you've done about 10 years of solid work. Then you got cast in Oscar. Yeah. How does that happen? <laughs> Which luckily isn't a redundant show by any stretch this far. <laughs> you know, um, Oscar. <laughs> well, let's see. We're going to move this closer from, for this. From the point of being casted, mm -hmm. I was in L.A. when I got casted. Okay. And um, I didn't want to do it. Right, because be you locked down into a series, yeah. I, I didn't want to do it, and it, on top of that, I didn't want to sci-fi. <laughs> <laughs> In no, Canada. Nobody likes that stuff. Right, I, I, you know, my Earth's Final Conflict, you know, one episode, good amount, no problem. Yeah. But, no, I just, I wasn't, to me, I wasn't, drama was my mm -hmm. You know, I love drama. I love going to those places. And I didn't quite know what sci-fi was going to be. Um, I remember just being on Earth by the Conflict and everything was just fake. <laughs> I mean, you know, just everything was just so made up. I'm used to working on location. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, that's, that's yeah. what I'm used to. I'm used to being in the street and all that stuff. And um, so I, I said no. I told my agent no. Wow. Hey, thanks, but no. <laughs> it's like, why not? It's like, I just don't want to do it. It just doesn't feel right. Okay. You know? And then that lasted about three hours. <laughs> <laughs> and then he called me back and he's like, now I don't usually do this, but are you sure you don't want to do it? And I said, like, why would you ask me that? And then it had to do with him talking to Cass. Of course, yeah. That. And, you know, they thought I would be perfect for the role. And I was like, I'll give it a shot. Because I'm like you guys. I, I don't want to burn bridges. Yeah. You know, these cast and directors I love. Yeah. I've known them for 10 years. And uh, they asked me to just you know, take a moment out of my time and do what I do. I can do that. Yeah. And, um, and then, I, and then I, I got the role. What the hell was that? So I, I flew out. I actually flew out the next day. Wow. So it happened on like a Wednesday. I flew out Thursday. And yeah. <laughs> and that was it. And I was in wardrobe on. The timing was perfect because I was going. I was actually not going to go to the actual awards, which I was nominated for that year. Nice. And oh, I just, yeah, I didn't. I just. I wanted to go, but you know, I'm not big on flying here, flying there. But I'm like, don't live without. Me. You know, yeah. Someone will be there to accept it if I win, which yeah. I'm not going to. <laughs> whatever. 
and I flew out the next day. I did a wardrobe on Saturday. I did the actual awards on like I don't know the next day or whatever. And ended up winning, so I was happy I was there. Boom. <laughs> It's been lost school ever since. Yeah. Well, because we spoke with Rick about that, how, how the first few episodes were more special effects heavy until you guys really found your feet as a series. And now it's not Now it's not about the special effects anymore. Yeah. It's very much about the characters yeah. and what's going on with them. So maybe it's not sci-fi so much anymore as it is. No. But. No, now uh, it feels good. It feels good now, you know. And another good thing was getting there and... You know, and seeing Anna, because I've worked with Anna before. Oh, did you? Oh, no. um, one eight hundred missing. Really? Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> missing. Okay. So we worked together in the past, and I just love Anna. I think she's just a really special person. So I saw her, and then I, you know, I didn't know Chris. Um, I didn't know Rick. Um, I knew of Zoe because I watched a couple episodes of The Guard. Yeah. And uh, but never never worked with her. Like the family now, right? Yeah. Just yeah. Amazing it's, individuals. It's, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, especially a fan expo, and especially Sunday nights when an episode airs. Yeah. Just to listen to all four. You know, you were on there, Anna's on there, Rick and y'all kind of just tweet along with the episode. Yeah. And just the sense of family that we got at fan expo. Yeah. 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 We, you know. You guys look like not only do you genuinely, genuinely, sorry, like each other, but you get along, and it's got to be for a fun set. We do. Yeah. We absolutely get along. No one has any issues with the other. Um, it's so much fun, and I, you know, I feel like I feel like we're so selfish because I wish you guys could see how much fun we have. Oh, see, we're pushing. We for do that. too. We're yeah. pushing. <laughs> we're, we've started a little website, so just put us on the dial in the background. Yeah, yeah. I'll we don't want to have dial. We just want to sit and drink. <laughs> that would be awesome to just have you know a whole bunch of fans in the yeah. doll. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. Because know. we've actually uh, we emailed Shaw Shaw Media. Yeah, we said this is what you know. We want to we want to have a set visit. We don't want to we don't want to bother people. We just want to stand literally just stand yeah. off set and just watch how the show yeah. comes together. And it's and then we actually want to talk to the like, camera guys. Yeah, and yeah. the grips, the grips and stuff like yeah. everything just to just to find out what the show is really it's, like. Yeah. It's kind of important for you guys to do that so they can really understand the magnitude of mm -hmm. you know the show yeah. is, yeah. is doing to people. Yeah, because we uh, I've been following Tanya Lemke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Our props. And yeah, and I yeah. said yeah. Tanya, we want to sit down and interview you, and she goes. Why? Yeah. <laughs> like, are you just kidding? Yeah. And that's another thing is that the crew, we have the best crew in the city. We've heard nothing but good things about it. Oh my God. It. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> so much fun. Now this is going to be an uncomfortable question for me to ask. Sure. But I did promise I was going to ask it. <laughs> Is it, have, have you found out? You know, have you found that you know your responses on Twitter or your Facebook page or anything has gone up since you had your shirtless scene? <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> oh, that damn shirtless scene question. Because there's got to be. There must have been a deluge of emails. Yeah. Well, we even yeah. talked to Rick about it. <laughs> Well, not he, really talked about yeah, it, yeah. but uh, I think we said something like, you know, nobody was expecting that. Nobody he was like, expected none that. of us were either. <laughs> <laughs> and they said, yeah, we're fairly sure Ksenia's reaction was her actual <laughs> reaction. <laughs> that, uh, you know, <laughs> I think the funniest responses have been from the actual cast. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Rick and Chris and Anna. And, uh, I mean, it's just been hilarious coming from them. Um, and Chris actually got to see it before I did because he watches the Russians. Oh, nice. And uh, I don't watch the Russians. And um, it was the day of Fan Expo, actually. <laughs> he said, man, I am no longer that guy. <laughs> That's like, why he was so subdued. I'm like, I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, forget about it. It's, it's, it's over. I'm like, what are you talking about? He's like, I saw the rushes. It's all you. I'm like, you know, but that's Chris. He's just, he's just a generous guy. You know, he's always going to give it to you. So, um, yeah, you know, and, you know, Rick and them were like, who would have thought? <laughs> you know, and then there were people like, I'm going to become a vegan. And, you know, you know, but. It's a whole new 
closed him away for vegan desserts. Yeah, right there. You know, with regards to the fans, um, I don't know if it, you know if it's if the numbers went up. Or yeah, you know, I don't think. I'm sure they did. They, the ratings or anything went through the roof. Well, I don't know. It's just. You know, <laughs> Nice comments. It's just nice it, comments. It was, I think I choked know. up my drink and said, holy hell, hail. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, my, nice yeah, my friend Amanda, who lives in Australia, yeah. hasn't seen that far into season two yet. Right. So I'm like, just wait till it happens. And, uh, <laughs> You'll you know, know what yeah, we're talking you know about. What happens, yeah, because <laughs> even I was just like, holy crap, man. <laughs> I, I did not want to do it. Really? Did not want to do it. They um, they mentioned it at the beginning of season two, and um, we had a get together like this before yeah. we started yeah. the season. And it was on Twitter. Someone someone mentioned on Twitter that they wanted to see you know hail shirt off, whatever, blah blah blah. <laughs> you know, it's, and um, and they weren't getting with you getting puked on. <laughs> that's kind. That's another thing I was like. <laughs> get to this point because okay, I'm going to need some sort of love interest hello and I didn't see that coming as I was reading the script I'm like okay this is good shirt's not coming up there's no love interest yet all is well <laughs> 10 days before we started before we shot that day they said uh, yeah your shirt's coming off I said no it's not they said yeah your shirt's coming off I said no it's not it's not coming off someone on Twitter requested it we told you that uh, it's coming off I'm like, Great. What about all the times people were saying, you know, KC should be a star? <laughs> no one made any changes good. about that. No, you know, not. but um, you know, we need so, more hail-centric episodes. Yeah. Right? Where's all Where's that? that? So I was just um, outnumbered, and uh, I said, ten days is what you guys are gonna give me. Uh, ten days. You know, looking at Chris, I'm like. Well, it's a good thing I'm the sidekick. <laughs> <laughs> no one will expect much. <laughs> See, but we wrote a big article about that, though, because we, yeah. uh, we don't feel that any of you guys are our sidekicks. Yeah, you know, that's just kind of how it started. But, yeah, I remember the breakdown of the character. That's kind of oh, what it was. Yeah. yeah. And, um, yeah, it's, it's changing. It's changing. Which uh, kind of leads into this. Now that you've done, you've got, what, two episodes left to shoot for yes. the second season. So now that you're at pretty much the end of the second season. Yes. <clears throat> How thin is the line now between Hale and Casey? Because now that you've lived with the character for two years, yeah. you know, it's got to be, there's got to be a lot of Casey now in Hale, I'm thinking. You know, what I, what I tried to do even with the character from the beginning was just to make him kind of the opposite of what Dyson was doing. And I wasn't part of the pilot. My character wasn't part of the pilot. So there was an actual pilot before. And really? I mean, my character became part of the pilot because we reshot it. Mm -hmm. But you know, what they pitched, I, you know, my there. character wasn't in it. Wow. So they created him afterwards. And um, I watched the pilot and I said, okay, I gotta make this guy different. You know, you can't have two guys on the same level no. Yeah. else it just becomes, you know, yeah. Yeah. that doesn't work. You have to butt heads yeah. and push each other. Exactly. Yeah. So, you know, we, we, you know, still have our similarities of course because we're from the same world and we're in the same job. But you know, what I like is Chris plays everything real. Uh, you know, like, yeah. Uh, you know, so, which is, you know, I remember the first day, I'm like, what the fuck is he doing? I'm like, what the hell is this? And man, that kid pops on screen, I tell you. He does. Yeah. yeah. It's like, wow. Like, you know what you're doing. Yeah. You know? Which is weird because he's still one of, his character, I haven't met Chris yeah. except for very briefly at Fan Expo, but his character is still the only one I can do without, still. Just kind of, he's not a bad guy. It's yeah. just like... You bother me, guys. <laughs> yeah, you know. But that means he's doing his job. He's doing job. his job. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. And he's just, you know, he's, he's a total opposite person. Yeah. He's I so bubbly, get so that high impression. strong. Yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> even in between takes, you know, to shake you up, he'll do it. And then he'll go back to. Yeah. <laughs> and he has great subtleties. Yeah, and he seems to be very aware of where the camera is and how it's going to catch like the tiniest movement or really good. the change in the light in his eyes or whatever. You can tell what mood he's switching to. He knows what he's doing. He's really, really impressive. And um, 
so yeah. And if he was dicing like it would bug me. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it, dude. <laughs> but, uh, you know, so I just try to. Actors tend to say there's none of them in a character, mm -hmm. which I find absolutely garbage. Yeah, there's got to be some. There's always, yeah. you know, <laughs> some of you in yeah. a character. Has to be, yeah. You can't interpret it otherwise. Yeah. And um, I just made sure I had these little, these little things that I do that are me, okay. but they're. They're more me because it works for the character. Right. Because that's the first thing I do is I say, okay, well, I look at this character and I say, well, do I have anything that I know of that I can bring to this character for my personal? Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, okay. Dyson is like this. Well, Hale is like that. I'll use my walk. You know, and I'll, I'll walk exactly the same way I walk. Nice. And, uh, you know, and so on and so forth. Yeah. And then certain things I won't use. And, um, you know, but... Now it's you know I, I still feel it's the same. I don't I don't think the lines are blurred or, uh, at all. I think you know I, there's still a separation. Ask him again in three seasons. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I always wondered about that, like with um, you know people who go five, six seasons. Yeah. yeah. I mean, what have you got left as an actor? Yeah. yeah. You know, what happens? So. Like the cast of Lost. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They yeah. spent so much time, especially when they'd have like. A string of episodes together where it was all about like you know the same three characters and then they switched to another pair or something yeah. like that. Uh, oh my lord, guys! <laughs> you lived with that for a long time. A long time. <laughs> but you know that's another good thing about sci-fi is that you go to so many different crazy places that's that true. it helps you. you know, Sometimes you're a British one. Sometimes you're Which a British. Which was awesome. <laughs> <Dude>. <laughs> you know, <laughs> there was an interview with um, Meryl Streep. Okay. And. Um, Who's brilliant? Yeah, yeah. yeah. She, she could be anybody. Yeah, really. blew my mind when she played a rabbi, right? <laughs> and um, you know, she gets terrified when she has to do dialects. Mm -hmm. You know, she's doing a uh, movie. She's playing. Yeah, the Iron Lady. There you go. Yeah. That's Margaret Thatcher. And she's yeah. Like, I'm surrounded by real Brits, and I'm the one putting on the dialect. Yeah. It's terrifying. And. It's even more terrifying when you have to learn it in seven days. <laughs> you know, you just say, oh, like, why would you want to do this to the show? <laughs> First and foremost, why would you want to do this to the show? But you know what? That's our show right now. Our mm -hmm. show is not much time to think. Yeah. You yeah. know, like, we don't find things out to the last one. Yeah. Oh, as we saw in the season, well, yeah. mid-season finale. Yeah. That originally. last couple shots, I'm like... Uh, what? <laughs> <laughs> and now I gotta wait till when? <laughs> so, we're last minute, man. We, you know, That's, so you have no idea what's coming down no, the pipe. We're at the table reading. We're like, yeah. oh, huh? <laughs> okay. How am I gonna pull this off? <laughs> wow. All right. That's, you don't have a lot of time to get nervous about it, then. Either. <laughs> no, that's true. You know, you just head first. Yeah. Well, now that. Without, of course, without spoilers, is there anything coming up or anything you want to see Hale do, like either in the rest of season two, which we haven't seen, or next season in season three? Well, I think, you know, we definitely need to see Hale in some sort of relationship. Intimate hey, relationship. Because, yeah. I mean, he is the ultimate male bachelor. You know, so um, in due time that will happen. Good. You know, like in royalty. Yeah. You know, like, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah he's kind you of know, and, um, Big deal. Yeah. So that's something we definitely need to see just for the show. Yeah. Just to, you know, yeah. You know, but um, just to make everything else make sense. You know, there's been a lot of talk about Hale as Ash. Oh, yeah. As the Ash. Yeah, why not? And that's always <laughs> fun to play around with. And, um, don't know how I feel about that for Hale yet. <laughs> well, because it might remove him a little bit from the group dynamic yeah. as well if he was the Ash. Yeah. It, it could remove him, but it can also... It could lead to some good tension yeah. within the relationship yeah. because now you have this character who has to uphold these rules, yeah. and he's got his friends. So you try to please both sides. Yeah. Good luck, right? Yeah. 
Oh, see, that would be good even for just an arc for Hannah yeah. just to see what kind of pressure that would put on yeah, him. Yeah, totally. Like, you know, so there's this, I, you know, I don't know if it's accidental or on purpose, but they've set the character up in my eyes fairly well that he can go to many different places mm-hmm. yeah. and it's going to be a lot of fun. Nice. Right? And, you know, of course... Over the first season, you have to kind of give the lead. Yeah, it's all set up. You know, you yeah. got to set them yeah. up and, um, and whatnot. And, uh, you know, right off the bat, second season, it'd be um, with the stag hunts. Yeah. Yeah. The new Ash. You know, they gave they gave him a pretty good setup. And um, so there's many places to get that. Oh, yeah. But I guess, what would you guys I was thinking about that episode earlier today, actually, because that was one of my favorites, was uh, watching Hale, like... Politicize the room. And <laughs> ching, 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 as people drop their stuff into his glass. So much fun. So yes. much fun. Oh. What would you guys like to see? That's a tough yeah. call. I mean, I, which it's going to sound weird coming from a guy, but I, I like watching the dynamic of all the relationships. Like, Hale needs a love interest. Yeah. He does. Yeah. Even if it forces a different dynamic for the group right. and even causes some chafing, that would be great. You know, Because it does. Yeah. I mean, when you have a bunch of people who hang out together and all the time somebody and somebody's in a new yeah. relationship. Yeah. 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 Like, what would happen if Hale you know, got with Kenzie? How would that work out? You know, would that be... I'd be that I think that would be fun Them but complicated. Them watching that. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Yeah. Those bodies was that, awesome. That would be... So, yeah. You know, yeah. There's so many things that can oh, yeah. cause, you know, good things and rips, right? Yeah. So. yeah. Well, and that's and there's that too because all the characters since they're Fey, they're not confined to like I'm 40, so right. I've only been around for four yeah, years. Whereas yeah, yeah. we've already seen that Dyson has been around for X amount of years. Trick has been around for X amount of years. Right. Hale could have been around. So there could be there could be skeletons in the closet that are going to come back. And, totally. And no matter what, yeah. You know, if I get if Hale gets with Ken, he's a pedophile. No matter what, <laughs> it's just it just is. There's nothing you can do. About it. It's true. He's hundreds of years old. <laughs> So, the Edward Cullen thing just got That's right wrong, there. Right? Take a note of that, Twilight. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, it's, yeah. it's in the human world, this is going to be accepted pedophilia. Yeah. 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 No one knows how but, it's going to be. But the chemistry <laughs> between you two guys is so palatable. You know what's funny? We had no idea. That was really? what it was. You know, season one, portion of season two, mm-hmm. what you see is what you get. We had no idea we were really going there. That's why. Yeah. We, uh, we kind of left that in the dark, you know. I, 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 yeah, well, we spoke about that with Rick as well, because the, their chemistry, when they yeah, play the off of each other, is so good. And yeah. They had no idea that it was there from the get-go, but, you know, they cater to that now. So I love seeing those scenes where Hale and Kenzie get to kind of be, like, best buddies and, you know, hang out together. I love that stuff. We just just basically play what we get, you know, and we we all have our triangle. Well, I know I do. I have my triangle to make sure that I stay within my parameters, Mm -hmm. and, um... I don't do anything out of whack. 13, 14, 15 plus episodes go by, you tend to forget things. That's yeah. true. So you literally have to keep track of it. And um, we just play what we were getting. And of course, we had, we had an understanding of you know, where we were situated within the circle of right. uh, six. And, um, and it just works. It does. Well, that's really interesting yeah. too. Actually, is the idea that like if you had if you had Hale and Kenzie both in relationships, like Dyson and Bo would be so lost because <laughs> they're the ones that are holding them up. You know, like they're a mess. Even yeah. when they're like even when they're doing good, they're still needing their buddy to yeah, that's true. keep them standing. But. Uh, if Hale's suddenly too busy to <laughs> listen to Dyson go on about something, or likewise with Ken, Kenzie. Yeah, there's a lot, yeah. Awesome. Trick would just be pouring the beer. <laughs> <laughs> just keep that flowing. Is there any desire to work behind the camera? Uh, no. No, so you're quite happy up front? Uh, producer. Producer, nice. Not uh, a director. Okay. Uh, I, uh, I just think, I mean, it's a very tough game, but so is producing, but I, I just, I don't know. I'm, I've always been big on getting people together, mm-hmm. and um, I love hiring. Like, I, you know, I'm the kind of guy who will have rental properties or so, you know, I know someone's yeah. taken care of. Like, yo, you get a place to live, there you go, you know, and, you know, 
start a company just so I can hire people. I just love, you know, <laughs> producing is kind of that thing, right? It's got, you got the crew, yeah. and then you have the, you know, the other minds that need to be there. And I think directing is, I don't, I don't want to, I don't really want to tell people when they're not doing well, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Or sitting, you know, yeah. sitting in an audition room, and I'm the one that has to be like, you're the one judging. Yeah, them. like, <laughs> okay, try, uh, okay, try it this way. Yeah. And then, you know, the artificial. <laughs> thanks. It was great. Yeah. You know, that our, we'll call you. Yeah, yeah. The producer's in the room. He doesn't say nothing. He just sits there. Yeah. Right. So I, I'm not big on trashing spirits. It's a good way to look at it. I like that. So, I mean, it's all well and fine if you're on a, you know, working with good people. And this is from my perspective, my point is that I have certain directors that I love to work with. And if I could work with them over and over and over again, I would. Yeah. And that's, you see that in Hollywood as well. Actors work with yeah. the same directors yeah. Oh, yeah. because I love when that happens. this industry is all about trust. And so many times you run into a situation where something isn't, isn't what you signed up for. Mm -hmm. What can you do? Yeah, like yeah. you said, it's out there forever. <laughs> the fans don't have a clue why something turned out so garbage, or you know, or even why it turned out so good. Yeah. And it, it comes down to trust and relationships. So you tend to want to work with the same people over and over. You know? and yeah, I like that. We can be on the same page most of the time. Yeah. It makes it yeah. a lot smoother. Hands down. But now that you've got sci-fi fans, that's got to be just a rush. No, save it for stop. I feel like if I would have did this 10 years ago, I would have been a star. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Should have been sci-fi 10 years ago. And any other actor that's coming up, I'm going to say don't do anything but sci-fi. It's true. Because <laughs> it's a cult Yeah, following. it really is. And then act. I mean, sadly, if like... And they're hardcore if, and never go yeah, away, yeah, whether there's cause, been 11 episodes yeah, or... Because right. if, when, because it's going to happen eventually, let's just say if the if last girl finally ends, all of you have such a huge fan base now, they're going to follow you from project yeah. to project, guaranteed. Right. So and that's, 40 years from now, you'll still go to Fan Expo and people will be like, hey! <laughs> so that's, that's a good starting point. Yeah. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a great place to start. If you get it, go for it. Yeah. Yeah, I'm looking at it now, and I'm like, so what were the previous nine years for? <laughs> practice. Yeah, oh, practice. that, all right, practice. Honing right. your craft. Sure. I forgot about that part. So, yeah, I That's mean, a they're great fans, and, uh, I mean, you know, it's like any other fan, I guess. It can get out of hand sometimes, yeah, I, you know. Yeah. Like, because the passion, right? Yeah. Yeah, there is a lot of that. Hey, Dyson. <laughs> such a douche. Right? Oh I gotta be like, okay, now, they're basing that off of this comment that I just made. <laughs> so I need to clarify. No, Dyson is not a douche. He's a really nice guy. Just in case that goes any further, you know what I mean? So, yeah. They're just so passionate. It's, you know, it's, they really it's are. Great. Yeah. It's great. Yeah. 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 It's, uh, and with stuff like Twitter and Facebook now, it really oh my brings, God. Yeah, it brings and actors so much closer. Yeah. What did you see my last tweet? I don't know if you guys saw my last tweet. Um, the last one I saw was your Christmas shopping one. Right. No, I just I just made one today saying, you know, the internet can be such a curse. Yeah. But I mean, in the in the in this situation, you know, it's basically a blessing to have all of these great oh, uh, yeah. Twitter folks. You know. Yeah. Um, because from so many different places, you know? Yeah. yeah. Like, all and over the world. instantly. Yeah, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's it. boggling. Because, yeah, well, yeah, I think season two is just about to start in Australia, I think. Because uh, it's like yeah, January. Yeah. yeah, so I know that my friend Amanda, who lives down there, she's, she's talking about it. And I know sci fi starts, I think, in January as well with season one. Yeah. I've got friends stateside who have been, you know, reading our blog and said, What's this last girl about? Can you tell us? And I'm like, I'm not going to tell you a lot. I'm just going to say, Watch it when it starts. <laughs> I'll tell you a little bit more than what yeah. I knew when I started watching yeah. it because that was nothing. <laughs> yeah. So that's awesome. I actually remember Anna and Chris were both at Fan Expo the year before. Yeah. Yes. Before Lost Girl even started. Right. And uh, and all I knew was like it looked cool because I knew nothing about it. Yeah. <laughs> so like you know some various images or whatever. Like I don't know what this is, yeah. but yeah. I just like the fact that it looks dark and mysterious. So uh, and I saw Anna 
I don't know, she was away from her table at some point, <laughs> going through the crowd, I think when I was waiting for you, Probably. in the mess that was a Saturday. Uh, and I, I saw her go by and I'm like, oh, that's the lost girl. <laughs> she wouldn't be able to do that No idea what year. I mean by that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, it'd yeah. be a little different story yeah. now. I love her. Yeah. And I'm glad. Um, I actually have an article coming out in uh, it's, it's our, our union magazine, okay. Action Magazine. So I think it'll be out in January or February. Mm -hmm. that has curves. Yeah. Oh, God, yeah. You know? Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm so She looks happy. like a real like woman. A real woman. Yeah. 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 And, uh, and stunning like, at the same time. Uh, and I'm happy <laughs> for that. Real yeah. women can. Yeah. But, uh, you know. Yeah. Which, she, she is, I think, our next, she's our next lost girl target. Like, we, yeah. I, I actually got to email her yesterday, which just <laughs> freaked me out. Because yeah. our friend Ava Mom said, yeah, I passed on your email to to Anna, she said, "Feel free to email her back, and here's her email address." I'm like, "What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what, what?" But yeah, well, she's from Fredericton. I'm from Fredericton, so yeah, she's yeah. the nicest person. She is. Well, she did. Uh, she and Ksenia and Rick. I caught them on their way out of the uh, the auditorium on, uh, right. on that Saturday and said, "Can you do a happy birthday for me for my friend Amanda?" And, uh, and they're like, uh, "Yeah, of course, why not?" Yeah. Yeah, so, nice. so everybody's been so approachable. Yeah. Really loud. And which sounds like a really good place to wrap it up. Yeah. So, yeah, Casey, thank you for joining us. Thank you for having us. We did get to play uh, phone tag and such for a while, so we got yeah. it. <laughs> no, I'm glad you guys stuck with me. I yeah, well, mean, that's. You know, it's, I, get, I get nervous about that because it, it gets as much to no, but you get it bothering them. Yeah. yeah. You were awesome. Yeah. Perfect. And, uh, and it's like Christmas. <laughs> yeah. So we're like, like what oh a great God. time to ask him. <laughs> no, it's all, it's all good. You know, sometimes we just, we just get crazy with life. Thank you very much. Oh, so like I said, the, every cast member we've approached, and even the directors and producers we've spoken to so far, yeah. they've everybody's been so readily approachable. Awesome. They're like, of course we're going to sit down and talk about this, awesome. you know, which is great. So good. yeah, Casey, thank good. you very much. So well. That's uh, Sue. That's me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> And I'm Tim, and we're going to say goodnight. Thank you for joining us for episode nine. And I guess uh, if I edit this right, this will be our Christmas present to you, the listeners. So, Yay! Uh, enjoy and a happy holiday. Touch your hail. Please take your shirt off. No, no, God no. Please tell me you got that. Because that is exactly how it should end. Yeah, it's sadly it's on there. Thank you. That's just that's very funny to me. Y'all ain't laughing though.